I'm Amanda. Welcome to this online yoga video. Uh, this morning, I'm going to teach a class that's really themed around like waking yourself up, just giving yourself a good morning, and all the things you might do if you were waking yourself up in your house. So you can um, take a good seat maybe on one or two blocks. You can see I have one block long ways between my feet, but you could also stack up two to get a little bit more height. And settle yourself into this seat, Virasana. Reach your arms all the way up overhead and grab opposite elbows. And close your eyes, settle your head into the frame of your arms. And feel how your breath starts to lengthen. And just by lifting your arms up over your head, like you are opening up a window. Orient yourself into the bowl of your pelvis. Maybe feel your pubic bone, your tailbone, and both your sit bones. Find the middle. Plug that in. And then from that middle, your pelvic floor, lift up through your diaphragm, through your upper palate, through the crown of your head. Really catch some wind. And reach your arms back up to the sky. And switch so your other arm is on top. And feel any differences that come up. And your breath helps you to articulate the pose rather than hold it. So you keep exploring inside the inner landscape. your arms back up to the sky, take a big breath in, and then exhale your hands to your heart. And from here you can come forward into tabletop. Move this box out of the way. And then set yourself up so your hips are stacked right over your knees and then your hands right, wrists really right under your shoulders. So you make a frame. Root down the whole palm, the tops of both feet, and inhale, round your back into cow, and then exhale forward into cow. Take an inhale, round, and then exhale forward. You can close your eyes, you can keep that going, really filling up the dome of your back as you inhale, and then spreading wide across your collarbones as you exhale. And then you can play with the speed. So if you like to speed it up, in, out, in, out. Start to whip it up. Let your hair whip. Let your neck get involved. Your neck is still a part of your spine. So your whole spine starts to undulate. And it feels as though there is a wave passing through you. A wave entering through your pelvic floor. And then all the way through the crown of your head, and as it waves through you, you just bob up and down, up and down. That's a reaction to that wave. Just like when a wave passes through water, the water molecules react, but they don't travel forward. They travel in a circle. You start to whip it up and wake yourself up. In, out, in, out. Things might start to feel spicy. You might start to feel warm in different parts of your body. Let that happen. Notice it. Be an observer. Your own experience. You're starting to light a fire. Like when you wake up in the morning and you turn on the lights. Keep it going for five, four, three, two, and one. Come to stillness, nice and slow round. And then exhale into your back bend once more. And 
something neutral. If you have blocks, place the block in front of your thighs so that we know to keep our legs sturdy. And then you're gonna pick your left hand up from the collarbone, turn your palm backwards. And then pick your right hand up and from the collarbone, turn your palm backwards. And then left hand forward, right hand forward. Left hand backward, right hand backward. So keep that going. Starting to pump the energy from the banda of your palm, really like the perineum of your palm, all the way up through the stem of your arm into your lungs and into your heart. And then you can switch and move with the right hand first, a few times waking up the arms, stimulating all the meridians that run from your pinky finger, middle finger, thumb finger, your lungs, your heart, your pericardium, all the way up into those organs, waking them up. And we come back to center. Move the blocks out of the way. Just tuck the toes and come back to downward facing. And then in case this down dog does not feel comfortable to you or overbearing in some way, shift yourself forward into plank to find a measure. Shoulders over wrists, heels over the balls of your feet. And then from there, press back to down dog and bend your knees. Bend your knees and feel your seat stretch up to the sky. Your head and your fingertips down and forward. So your torso gets so long. And take some deep breaths here, filling up the whole torso. Stretching the capacity of your lungs. Look forward to your thumbs and strain your legs to plank. And then bend your knees to dog. In, out, in, out. So keep it pumping, moving at your own pace. Maybe you speed it up really fast. Maybe you keep going nice and easy. However fast you're going, match your breath. So that you start to practice your yogi superpowers, your siddha, playing with time, knowing how to speed things up, when you need them to go quicker, knowing how to slow things down, when you want them to last. For four, three, two, and one. Back to down dog, full breath in, full breath out. And then slowly walk your hands back to your feet. And you find a rag doll there. yourself be heavy. Bend your knees as much as you need and feel the roots that are your legs and your feet. Place your hands to the ground. Bring them under your shins and lengthen your spine. And then exhale, fold it forward. Place more length in your spine. And then exhale, fold it forward. Place more lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. And then lengthen your spine. Walk your hands all the way up to your legs. Now turn your hands so your fingers face in. And you're resting on your thighs like you're in a huddle. And you'll find a few rounds of Uddiyana Kriya. You'll take a big breath into your nose, out through your mouth. Hold all the breath out. Scoop your belly in and up. When you need to breathe, let the belly go. And let the breath come. Do that twice more. Inhale. Belly in, chin down. Relax the chin, breathe in. Once more, inhale. <sighs> Hold the breath up. Let the belly, let the breath come. 
hold back in on yourselves. So using that breath to stimulate, massage the abdominal organs. So again, it's like you're walking through your house, turning on every light of every room, making sure every piece of your insides gets some attention through this practice. And lengthen your spine. Point your hands and walk them all the way forward to plank pose. And from your plank pose, your knees, your chest, and your chin to the mat. Keep your booty in the air. Hug your elbows back behind you to widen your collarbones. And then from here, keep tacking your elbows back as you pull yourself through into cobra. And then exhale back to down dog. Take a deep breath in. Full breath out. And then inhale, straighten to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Tack the elbows back. Pull yourself through. And then back to down dog. Full inhale. Full exhale. Straighten your legs to plank. Knees, chest, chin. Tack it back. Strong triceps as you pull through. And then back to a dog. Deep breaths in. And out. Feel the capacity of your lungs in each pose. And feel how the shape affects your breath and how your breath can bring you back to the calm, easy place inside of you. You can look up to your hands and you can step or float your feet up. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Big breath, rise up, arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. And just that, inhale, arms up, open it up. Exhale, hands to your heart. A bridge between earth and sky, reach up. You in the middle, the mediator, hands to your heart. And root and rise. Exhale. Once more. And reach your arms up. Catch your elbows overhead. Open up those windows. Breathe in the breath. Find your feet. Root down from the inner ball to the outer heel. And the outer ball to the inner heel. Fortify your legs and lift up out of them. your arms to the sky. Switch so your other elbow is in front. Reach up, up, up. Strong legs. And arms back up. And exhale, fold in half. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And then plant your hands and step your left foot back. And widen your hands to 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock, reaching them as far away from you as you can. So you feel your knee plug into your armpit. And then look forward. And use that knee in your armpit like a little massage for your lymph nodes. And from here, keep your feet where they are and start the process of straightening your right leg. Really feel that it's a journey, a process. Right foot down and forward, right hip up and back. And the little pulses, little bends, and a little straightening. So you really feel what it feels like in that hamstring. The back of your thigh is like your lung. So your right hamstring is like your right lung. And right now, one is superimposed on the other. And you feel them both up. Tension, your awareness, your breath, your effort. And then bend your right knee, plant your hands, step it back to plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. And inhale, pull it through all the way to cobra, maybe into up dog. Fire up your legs. Exhale, downward facing.
and look forward and step or float your feet up. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Big breath, rise to stand. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, fold and hop. Inhale to lengthen. And then plant your hands, lift your right foot back. We're finding a measure. 90 degrees in your left leg, 90 degrees between the sole of your right foot and the ground. And that measure is how you make a good recipe. You have good measurements. And then reach your hands wide and give your left armpit, those left lift nodes, a little massage with your knee. Breathe all the way up in there. From here, start the process of straightening. Really feel that it's the left hip crease reaching away from the right left big toe mound. And your left big toe mound is reaching away from your left hip crease. Stay high on the ball of your right foot like a gas pedal. And then little pulses, little bend, and then a little straighten. And really feel the opposition between your foot and your hip crease so that you're truly lengthening Cross the joints. Feel your breath through your lung into your hamstring. And bend your left knee, plant your hands, step it back to plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin, collarbones wide. Inhale, snake it through cobra, all the way to upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. A few deep breaths here. Keep a bend in your knees and really sit on the ceiling. When we straighten the legs, we actually put a lot of tension not only on the hamstrings but on the low back. So bend your knees and sit on the ceiling. Make sure everything is right place. Lengthen your neck away from your sit bones. And look forward and step or float your feet up. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Big breath, rise up. Exhale, hands to your heart. And inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale to lengthen. Step your left foot back. Find your measures, and then move a little bit bigger. So on your inhale, tap the left knee down, look forward. And then as you exhale, lift your hips up, 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 your left heel up, up, up. Then inhale, tap the left knee down, look forward. Exhale, lift your hips, lift your heels, fold. And three more with your breath. Bend your right knee, plant your hands, step it back to plank. And exhale, knees, chest, and chin, wide collarbones. Use your triceps to pull yourself through, all the way to upward facing, and back to downward facing. Look forward. Step or float your feet up. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Arms to the sky. Fold in half. Inhale, lengthen. Right foot back. Long lunge, widen your hands. Feel your feet, your anchors. And then inhale, tap your right knee down, look forward to the seesaw. And then exhale, stretch your hips up, your right heel up. 
So inhale, tap your right knee down, look forward. Exhale, lift your hips, root through the big toe mat of your left foot. Get three more. Feel all that work in every part of your body. Get the whole body involved. When the whole body is involved, you are embodied. You are living in your body completely. Lose track. And then bend your left knee. Plant your hands. Step it back to plank. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Tap your elbows back. Inhale, snake it through. Exhale, downward facing. Look forward and step or float your feet up. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Big breath, rise up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Sit down in the chair and hook your left arm over your right leg. So feel free to scoot your feet together if that feels more stable. And then really work to twist the left shoulder under and the right collarbone open. And aim the crown of your head straight off the top of your mat. And turn your neck to look up. Your arms back up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. And then plant your hands, step your left foot back. Find that measure again. And you take the right hand inside of your right foot. Bring your left hand to your sacrum and really stay high on the ball of your left foot. That's your gas pedal and your stability. So stay high, that buoyant left thigh, and start to turn your left collarbone. Use your right knee in your right shoulder. And then reach your left arm up. And turn your neck like it's part of the spit. Keep squeezing your right knee into your right shoulder, left thigh high. And then sweep your hands to the ground. Step your left foot in, anchor it down, Prakars Vottanasana. Forward fold over your right leg. Reach your hands forward. If you need, put blocks on your hands. Do that. your hands back and bend your right knee, step it back to plank, and back to down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And then reach your right leg high to the sky, open your hip, bend your knee. And then level out your hips so you're really reaching up through the knee. And bend your left knee toward your left armpit and draw your left hip crease back. And then hug your right knee into your nose, hug your right foot forward, walk your hands forward, lift your left leg up. It's like you're in that lunge, but you're floating, you're flying. Bend your right knee more, reach your chest forward, and reach your left foot down to meet your right foot and fold in half. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Big breath, rise up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Bend your knees. Sit down in the chair, Utkatasana, and hook your right arm over your left leg. And then find the spit from your pelvic floor. Hook your tail up. Turn around your whole spine and out through the crown of your head. Back to chair, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale to lengthen. And then step your right foot back. Starting out in your lunge. And your left hand will come inside of your foot. Right hand to your sacrum. Lift high into the ball of the right foot. Buoyant right thigh. 
grow your spine, and then turn around it. Keep turning even your neck. Use your left knee in your left shoulder to help you revolve around your upper back. You can reach your right arm up if it's catching some extra wind up there. Plant your hands, pop your right foot in, and put a little bit in your left knee as much as you need. Just fold over your left leg, make as much contact as you can. Dig into your right heel, feel free to use the blocks under your hands. Pause, both in asana. Plant your hands, shoulder back to plank, back to downward facing. And from your down dog, lower your knees to the mat. Come into full child's pose, forehead to the mat, wrap your arms around you, hold on to your heels. You can even scoot your eyeballs closer to your knees so you become more encapsulated like a seed full of potential. And as we move through these moon or water salutations, we can water the seed and see that potential come forth. So as you inhale, roll up your spine, sweep your arms to the sky, find a back bend. But as you exhale, bow it forward. Look at your hands bringing sky to earth. And then on your inhale, wash it through into your cobra, into your upward facing, and then exhale back to downward facing. Take a full breath in, and a full breath out. Lunge your right foot forward, lower your left knee down, untuck your toes, rise up. Open your palms wide, I feel that you could stretch your collarbones wide. And then plant your hands, step your left foot up, meet your right foot. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Big breath, rise up. Exhale, fold in half. Inhale, lengthen. Step your right foot back, lower your knee, untuck your toes, and open it up. Exhale, plant your hands, downward facing dog. And on your inhale, come forward into plank. Either knees, chest, chin to upward facing, or straight upward facing. And then knees down, wrap it around child's pose. Full breath in, full breath out. And then inhale, roll up your spine, arms to the sky. Exhale, bow it forward. And inhale, water it, wash it through into your cobra or upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Hold your ground. Full inhale. Full exhale. Reach your left leg up. Hug your knee to your nose. Step it through. Right knee down. Open it up. Exhale, plant your hands. Step it forward. Then right away, rise to stand. And then exhale, fold in half. Inhale, lengthen. Step your left foot back. Lower your knee. Rise up, pull your collarbones apart. Exhale, plant your hands, downward facing. And from your down dog into cobra or up dog. Knees down, child's pose, wrap it around. Full breath in, full breath out. And then on your inhale, roll up. The seed begins to sprout, arms up. Exhale, bow it forward, bring that fresh air down to earth. Inhale, wash it through, give the water. Exhale, down dog, hold your ground. Grow your roots. Step your right foot forward. Left knee down, open it up like a flower beginning to blossom. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left foot forward. Then rise all the way up, the fruit. And then exhale, harvest it, bring it in. Inhale, lengthen. Step your right foot back, lower your knee. Open it up, start to shed your leaves. And then plant your hands, step back to down dog. Then inhale into up dog or cobra. Exhale, knees down, 
child's pose, the fruit contains the seed, the seed falls to the earth, inhale, roll it up, begin to sprout, and exhale, bow. In winter, we work towards spring, wave it forward, exhale, downward facing. Full breath in, full breath out. You lunge your left foot forward, right knee down. Blossom into spring. Plant your hands, step it forward. Spring becomes summer. Rise all the way up into the fullness of summer. And then exhale, fold in half. Inhale, lengthen. Plant your hands, step your left foot back. Lower your knee, open it up. Plant your hands, down dog. Down dog to up dog or cobra. And then back to your seed, back to winter again. Full breath in. Full breath out. We'll follow that once more each side. From winter to spring, roll up, start to sprout. Exhale, bow. Inhale to your back bend, wave it through. Exhale, downward facing. Then right away, right foot forward, left knee down. Open it up. Blossom. Plant your hands, step it forward. We ride to the full potential of summer. And then exhale, let it go. Inhale, lengthen. Right foot back, knee down. Start to shed your leaves. Plant your hands down dog. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, knees down, child pose. Wrap it around. Full breath in. Full breath out. From the emptiness of winter, start to fill up. Rise up. Catch some sun, some fresh air, and bring it in. Bow. Inhale, wave it through. Exhale, downward facing. Step your left foot forward, lower your right knee down. Open it up. Spring forward. Plant your hands, step your right foot up. Inhale, rise, full summer sun. Bring it in. Inhale, lengthen. Step your left foot back, lower your knee. Open your chest. Plant your hands back to down dog. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Knees down, child's pose, wrap it around. Take full three breaths here. You make efforts and then you receive grace. In order to receive grace, you have to be still. Still enough to catch it. Okay. And reach your arms forward. Go back to your down dog. I forgot something on the other side. Put your left leg up. Stack your hip, bend your knee. And then reach your right knee toward your right armpit. And feel across your sacrum, the broadness of your hips. And then lunge your left foot forward. Walk your hands forward, lift your right leg up and back behind you. Keep bending your left knee to find more back bend. And then step your right foot down to meet your left foot. Fold in half. And separate your feet hips with distance. Pattern just asana, yoga toga around your big toes. But bend your knees as much as you need here. Look forward. And then drape yourself over your legs. Relax your head. Slide your shoulders up away from your ears. Breathe into your shell, the shell of your back. The shell of your past. The back of your lungs. All that came before you. And then release your toes. Inhale, lengthen. And step your left foot back. Skin your left heel to the ground. You plant your right hand inside of your right foot. So it's the same pose as before, but now we have a bigger anchor back there, the whole left foot. Bring your left hand to your sacrum again. Wrap your left hip around so the outer thigh can roll toward the ground. And let the twist come from your navel up. Use your right leg as a boundary. Reach your left arm up. And if it feels good, you can reach that left arm over your head. Or maybe you sweep it across. 
across your head. Find that rotation in your arms. You maybe see your elbow crease or your palm. Bring your left hand back to your sacrum. Come under your right fingertips and turn them so the palm is facing forward. And then just like before, the journey of straightening your right leg, the triangle pose. I like to keep a little bend in my knee so that I can find the levelness in my hips and the length in both sides of the waist. And then again, the twist is from the navel up. So you bring your right shoulder blade under, your left collarbone open. Keep articulating, keep exploring what's happening inside. You don't have to be satisfied, but you can be curious. What happens if, what happens when? We move just a little bit this way, a little bit that way. Where do I find the most freedom? to the ground. Walk your hands to the long edge of your mat. And then you'll crisscross your arms to grab opposite ankles. So you might have to scoot your feet in so that you can grab opposite ankles. And then you can walk them away so that you only step as far as you can handle. It's a metaphor. What can you handle? All right. Hold on to your left leg with your right arm. Bring your left hand to your sacrum and keep this right arm really straight and lean against it. So that arm is like a piece of metal helping you twist your right shoulder under, your left collarbone over. And as best you can, level your hips. Use your feet and a bend in your knees. Then sweep that left arm all the way over, catch your ankle. And then you can wrap your arms up into eagle. Bend your knees a lot, coming into a squat, reach your elbows forward in your eagle. And then keep your back bend straight and your legs rise up. And then release your arms to your hips. And take a breath. Turn your heels in. Get down into goddess pose. You can use your hands on your thighs. Or maybe you twist, drop one shoulder down and then the other. Do that a few times with your breath. And reaching your spine out of your pelvis. Come back to center. All right, we're going to bend the right knee. Straighten the left leg for Skandasana. Feel free to put a block under that thigh to help you balance and keep that knee and toes pointing up, that external rotation. And maybe you have enough space to reach your arms up. You can catch your thumbs and spread your fingers. You can catch your elbows, lift it up. Breathe, open those windows. And then let that go. Bring your hands back to the top of the mat. And step your right foot back to your left foot downward facing dog. Lend your left foot forward. Bring your right heel to the ground at a 45 degree angle. Plant your left hand inside your foot. Bring your right hand to your sacrum and look forward, grow your spine. And then use this left knee to help turn your torso from your navel up. And you can extend the arm, reach your gaze up, maybe over your ear. Digging into the right outer heel, wrapping around through the right outer hip. Put your hand on your back. Come onto your left fingertips and turn them so the palm's facing forward. And then start that journey of straightening the left leg. 
And remember, it's a journey. We don't always get where we're going on the first try. It's all about the try. Breathing and articulating and putting forth effort and exploring the inner landscape. What is happening in there when I do this or that? Length through both sides of your waist. How can you get maximum freedom? And you're going to release your hands to the ground. Walk your hands back to the long edge of your mat. Hi. <laughs> and then this time, we'll crisscross the arms again. And you'll hold on to your right leg with your left hand and bring your right hand to your sacrum. And then reach yourself forward. Pull. Keep that arm straight as you're coming straight out of your hips into the wall that's in front of you. And reach your arm up to your right hand. Let that go. Reach your arm up all the way over your ear. Recrisscross. Eagle up your arm. We're just going to turn around and face you. Bend your knees. Reach your elbows forward, forward, forward. Left arm under your right. Like up, 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 up. Then all the way up. And bring your hands to your hips. Take a breather. And then once more, goddess pose. Arms up. You're holding the knees. And we'll come into Skandasana on your left leg. So feel free to grab a block for your right thigh. You keep the knee bent, you don't slam out through the bottom. You find that external rotation, more freedom to your upper body. Again, you can express with your arms, however it feels good. Release your hands to the ground, face the top of your mat. And step your left foot back to meet your right foot downward face. On your downward facing dog, and we'll the right shin forward into pigeon pose. If you don't have any props and it feels okay, then come all the way down to pigeon pose. If you don't have any props and it doesn't feel okay, you can always hook your right thigh over your left thigh and lay it down. If you do have some props available to you, let's use them. I like to make a little bolster out of the blocks for my hips. One for each hip, and my pelvic floor goes right in the middle. Try to get as best you can to the top of your right foot. You draw your right hip crease back as you fold forward. And take a few breaths here. Hugging your left outer thigh toward the ground and your right hip crease back. So again, you're not complacent. You're discovering how can I keep finding this pose over and over again. your hands back in. We'll take the blocks out. You're going to lift yourself up really high and put one block in between your pubic bone and your calf. It looks like this from the front. It's angled toward you so your pubic bone can push against it. And you can see it's diagonally angled toward my pubic bone. And I have all this freedom to lift up. You can stay like this. You can grab your elbows again. Interlace your hands behind your head. Squeeze your elbows in. Or maybe you reach your arms behind you. 
and catch your ankle. Flex your foot and give it a kick. Open up your lungs. Go. Sit off to your right side and sweep your left leg around for a spinal twist. So if your hips are not level right now, you can straighten your right leg out. We'll keep it bent. Wrap your right arm around your left leg, your left hand behind your back, and first sit up tall like you are shifting toward your pubic bone and away from your tailbone. And lift up into a back bend and now twist around. Open up both collarbones. Come to center. If your right knee is bent, straighten it out. And then take your left leg open with the Janishirsasana. And then you can help roll that inner thigh down, the outer thigh up. I like to put a block under my left thigh so my hip sit bones are plugged in. And then you can fold yourself over your leg. Notice I have a bend in my knee so I can make contact with my torso. The syllabus that would look like this. And then your work is to start the process of straightening. Always a journey. Take your right hand to your left knee, and then your left arm up and over your head. And it might be just this, hold on to your right knee and pull your right shoulder blade through, just like we did in that wide-legged twist. Open your left collarbone, reach your left arm over your head. And if you have more space, you can grab your foot and keep turning. Turn your heart up, up to the ceiling. Parvrita means turning of the heart. And then from here, reach your left arm up to the sky and relax your head. Bend your elbow down toward your waist. Stretch your arm away from you. Relax your head even more. And then rise all the way up. Plant your left hand. Stand on your left shin and your right foot. And sweep it over into a stargazer. And you can sit back down, cross your ankles, and come back to downward facing dog. Take a few breaths there. Move around however it feels good. And then we'll lunge your left shin forward for pigeon pose. Again, feel free to lay on your back and cross your left thigh over your right, left ankle over your right thigh, rather. Or Come onto the blocks, put your pelvic floor right in the middle. And then keep working the hips. Keep working the hips to neutral. Neutral in all directions. And as you're ready, fold and up. And keep finding it. Every moment that passes you by is a new moment to keep practicing and keep finding what's happening in your body. You are speaking. Left foot back, right thigh down, outer thigh down. Freedom through your torso, through your lungs, your breath. Freedom in your imagination. your hands, move the blocks, lift your hips high enough away from the ground that you can wedge that block between your pubic bone and your lower calf. And then with that angled back, you can rise up 
and use it to bring your pubic bone forward, your navel up, your lungs open, your arc of potential, all that forward movement. Where are you going? What do you see out there? And if you like, do something with your arms. Maybe they come behind you and they grab your ankle. your footing and use the power of your legs to open up the arc of potential even more. Take the block, sit off to your left side, wrap your right leg all the way around. Again, you can keep this left knee bent or straighten it out. Wrap the left arm around your right leg. Right hand behind your back. Grow tall. Shift forward toward your potential, your pubic bone. And then up through your lungs. And turn it open. Center. Take your left leg out. If it's not already, open your right knee. And I like to put a block here so my hip wiggle comes out of the equation. And you bend that left knee as much as you need to make contact with your chest and your thigh. And fold. Notice again that your left thigh is superimposed on your left lung and can you breathe into both, find space in both. And pick yourself up. Hold on to your right knee with your left hand. And again, like a straight, strong piece of metal, lean against it to turn. And you can reach your right arm over your head. Maybe you catch the foot. And keep turning your heart. Feeling your up here, up here. Keep turning the heart. You can reach your right arm up, relax your head. Bend your right elbow down by your waist. Stretch your right arm away, open up your chest. And pull it all the way up. Plant your right hand, sweep your left arm up and over your ear. And sit back down. Bring your left knee next to your right and come into kneeling. Where we'll find a camel pose. And I like to practice camel pose the way that we practice it in Katona Yoga. So what that looks like is you hold on to your heels. And if you need to, you hold on to your heels with your toes up. And then you start by finding a back bend. All the way up to sit on your heels. And your back bend is here. Open up your chest. And from the power of your legs, unfold your hip creases. And then you come out, keep the back bend, and sit back down. Keep looking up to the ceiling. And keep the back bend as you start to bow forward, just like our moon sign reaching. All the way down, you can untuck your toes. Take a full breath in. Take a full breath out. And then again, start to unfold your back bend all the way up to your seats. Keep holding onto your heels and open up your hip creases. And then keep looking up as you sit back down, fight for it. Bow forward. Do it again. And then go 
you to repeat that one more time. Finding your back bend. Pressing into your hands, lifting your hips. Lower your hips. Down and over your head. Up your spine, and let's find a good seat again. We'll finish this practice with a few rounds of pranayam, some breath work. Especially if you're in your own home, you don't have to worry about breathing on anybody. You can really let it loose. So I like to put my hands around my heels. The heel of your hand fits right into the center of your palm. But if you'd like to practice it differently, you can hold onto your knees or just your thighs. Something that fits. And then close your eyes. And as you inhale, tip forward onto your, your pubic bone, lift your chest up. And then as you exhale, round forward onto your tail, chin in. Inhale forward, exhale back. In, out, in, out. Keep it going. Breathing in and out through your nose. It's almost like you're striking a match down in the base of your pelvis, your pelvic floor, striking a match against the block. And every time you strike a match, you start a little fire. When you start enough fires, you can create a whole campfire. You can light a whole furnace, a whole fireplace, to start to warm up your house. In, out, in, out, in, out. Really feel the action initiated down, down, down the bottom of your spine. Feel your low belly drawing in and, in and up. And maybe it gets a little warm, a little spicy down there. And then can you double time it? In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. For five, four, three, two, one. Arms up. Flip your thumbs, hold your breath, take an extra sniff, three extra sips, arms it up. Two more to go. Full breath in. Full breath out. And let it settle. And then we'll start to bring that energy up. If you're going to make fists, you're going to bounce your fist in between the bottom of your rib cage and the top of your pelvis. And you might notice that you actually start to bounce too, whether you're sitting on a bunch of pillows or a bunch of blocks or a bolster or a meditation cushion. Let yourself bounce and then you'll add the breath. Up, up, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Arms all the way up. Flip your thumbs, hold it in, take an extra sniff. Three extra sips. Bottle it up. Two more to go. Let it settle. Make effort and then catch grace. is the physical postures in yoga to fold our piece of paper into an origami cup. And now we play with our breath to fill that cup up so it can catch insight and catch grace. Make your fist again. Thumbs in all the way to your pinky mounds down here. Wrap your fingers around like you're about to fist bump yourself. Keep your elbows high for this one so we keep the breath moving up. We started down here and now we move up. And then on your inhale, you open it wide, crack open your front, and then exhale round. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Keep your elbows wide. And 
as you breathe and move here, you can imagine that you could put extra emphasis on either the in or the out. So maybe there's in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, letting the potential move forward, cracking open the back of your shell and setting yourself free. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Or you could put the emphasis on the out. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. So now you know, and you can play with, do I want to go in or do I want to go out? And even if you're stuck inside your house, in your imagination, you can decide, I want to go out more. And you can go out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Or I want to go in more, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. So you get to decide, even though you're in your house. You're in your body. And you're in your imagination. In, out, in, out, in, out. In, out for five, four, three, two, one. Arms all the way up, big breath in. Take a sniff, three sips. And pop your cork. Pull back in. Pull back out. Last one, bring it all the way up, arms over your head. Put under your elbows, lift up, feel onto your pubic bone. And on your inhale, twist to the left, and exhale, twist to the right. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. So you can imagine a twirling sensation around the spit of your spine, the central action axis of your spine your shashumna, your central channel. You can imagine that it's like a chimney and you are drawing up all that energy that you created down in your lower half, up, 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 into your upper half and out through the crown of your head, out through your elbows, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, just airing it all out no matter where you are. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, for five, four, three, two, one. Arms all the way up, or elbows all the way up. Hold it, take a sniff. Take a sip. And your palms face up to receive or your palms face down to go in. Feel what you've made, what you've done. Your arms all the way up overhead. And bring your hands to your heart. And as always, take a moment for gratitude for yourself, your body, your breath, your mind, your wisdom, and your spirit, all of your koshas, your layers. And that can take you down into every cell. And I thank you for sharing yourself, your space, and time. Namaste. Thank you everyone for sharing this practice with me. Feel free to continue practicing, take Shavasana, take some more fiery poses, restorative poses, and I look forward to sending the next one out to you. Namaste.